What is going on, everyone? Badger here. Be sure to like and sub, and let's get into this. Uh, we are probably getting Spider-Man the Animated Series. Uh, I've always said that, and X-Men are one of the only reasons I even really got into Marvel. They are still great cartoons, and of course, X-Men 97, the follow-up is coming out. We just saw the third episode where Morph casually walked into the shower with Wolverine and asked if he needed any help reaching the, uh, the naughty places. Yeah, that was fun. But... Uh, it is successful. It is uh, the most of the uh, most of the critiques of X Men ninety seven is successful enough to the fact that uh, they probably are going to bring back Spider Man the animated series. And uh, we saw even the original guy that did this saying he would come back. The original showrunner. We know they won't bring back the original showrunner, uh, but here we go. Considering Spider Man the animated series sequel, according to a new whisper. Marvel Studios is looking to give the X-Men 97 to the, the uh, is looking to give the X-Men 97 to their entire 90 uh, animated universe, starting with a summarily styled relaunch of the fan favorite Spider-Man, the animated series. And of course, I have always mentioned this, you know, Spider-Man actually crossed over with the X-Men. This is from uh, series two, episode five, Mutants Revenge. But uh, this Supposed insight into Marvel's awkwardly animated future, those who have watched X-Men 97 will know what I mean, was first provided to the public on March 24th, courtesy of Scooper, the Cosmic Circus reporter Alex Perez, fielding questions regarding his insider Marvel knowledge from members of the Cosmic Circus public Discord server. Perez was at one point pressed by user Titan29 as to whether or not the Incredible Hulk Iron Man, the Fantastic Four are going to share a continuity with X-Men, Spider-Man again in the X-Men 97. The scooper asserted there would have been discussions about exploring a Marvel's 90s uh, animated universe, which would most likely be explored through X-Men 97 at the time. However, despite X-Men 97 being the only confirmed animated project on Marvel Slate, Perez further noted that there is potential for more projects to be developed within this universe, the most likely candidate being a sequel series to Spider-Man the Animated Series. But this is very early in development as an idea being tossed around. And yeah, there was an episode uh, where they basically did Secret Wars. Spider-Man was there, Captain America, Wolverine, the X-Men, Fantastic Four, Iron Man showed up, Hulk showed up all looking like their respective uh, uh, animated parts from the 90s. Um, there are discussions about other revival series beyond Daredevil Born Again and X-Men 97 in development, he would later tell another users. Some set in the same universe as those projects, which I would be fine with. And of course, at least in the new one, uh, Cyclops has gotten the biggest glow up, definitely the leader of the team, and uh, power-wise, hasn't been saved by anyone. Got some cool moments. It's touched upon by Titan 29 above. Aside from Spider-Man, the animated series, there are a number of candidates Marvel can choose from for their 90s revival. Not only are there the aforementioned trio of the Incredible Hulk, Iron Man, the Fantastic Four, but there's also Silver Surfer, uh, Silver Surfer the animated series, which, God, I remember, but I don't remember. Uh, and if Spider-Man could dream just for a moment, the web crawlers, uh, sci-fi heavy sequel series spider-man unlimited yeah notably one factor that makes spider-man revival more likely than any others aside from the series massive popularity is that its lead voice actor christopher christopher daniel barnes is still actively working as a voice actor to this day having moist most recently moist recently provided the voice for the little mermaids prince eric who he has voiced since the debut in 1994 animated film. Oh, didn't know that. In Disney's Dreamlight Valley and in Disney Speedstorm video games. Plus, not only is he still working, but he is also still actively providing animated Spider-related voices, bringing to life such characters as Electro, Spider-Knight, and Wolf Spider in Disney's Ultimate Spider-Man. Good. So he's still working. He's still... Yeah, that was the one thing. All those original voice actors for X-Men 97 still sound very good, with the slight exception of Rogue. Who sort of who sort of sounds her age uh and of course the big question that looms over any possible revisiting of the spider-man the animated series continuity will the scarlet spider finally get more 
screen time to shine. On a slightly related note, Perez also confirmed that while the main MCU timeline is not uh, connected to X-Men 97, it does exist within the MCU as part of the larger multiverse, which we've seen every time they try and show you other worlds. To this end, he explained that as for the in introduction of X-Men and mutant kind, it's already introduced in the MCU continuity with characters like Miss Marvel and Namor, uh, and they will continue to build it up as such. As current, the next episode, yeah, well, which is which has come out, and uh, that is the one where, oh, just go watch it for yourself, and you see the fun little relationship dynamic Wolverine and Morph have going on. Um, but we did get boobs. Spoiler, we did get some boobies. Let you know. Let me know if you've uh, seen that one. Uh, yeah, let me. Are you at all excited for this? I mean, if they get the original voice guy, God, if they can get the original showrunner, but uh, they probably won't. But either way, I guess I'm about as excited for this as I was for X Men '97. If you take that for what you will, be sure to like, share, and sub if you've done that. Thank you. If you're going to do that, thank you. And mm. well, bye.